Hey guys, what is going on? Stargate 1331 back once again, bringing you the 1590s. Good God, we are only 10 more away from the from the 400 mark in terms of how many battles are left before I end my series. Again, when that time comes, I will make a call if I want to go for another thousand or not. But chances are at that point, I think I will just go to my marathons. Cause who knows? By that time, I might be better with editing. I might add a little more effects to that. I'm not too sure at that point. Yeah, because I think really what I want to focus on when that time does come is mainly just marathons and gauntlets. I think those are going to be my main two series along with Let's Plays and other stuff. I am going to try to do more Let's Plays pretty soon. Because now that I've come to grips with my Elgato being, you know, a little off sync a little bit from the game to my microphone, eh, I kind of figured out a way around it. So, you know what, eh, yeah, I'll, I'll deal with it. So, yeah, so still no webcam for me, thank goodness, because the quality really is a lot better in the Elgato. <laughs> But at any rate, let's, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll, I'm going to roll the dice here. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right, random movement battle number 1590. Let's, uh, what, what are we going to start off with? Um, oh, you know what? I don't know what we're going to do. Not exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to turn the battle. Yeah. Ooh, and we got a candidate. Not too sure what this candidate is, but you'll see it in the description, so that is fine. Oh, and Pingu! That's right, Dark Luigi's working on Pingu! Ah, oh, yeah, so this is the original Pingu, though. Still pretty good. So we got John Stewart, Green Lantern. We got, uh, Aiko. I almost said Aoko. But Aiko. Airman, and then a Ken edit. Followed by Dark Nation, Rorschach, two people from Neo, Mega Man's roster, my dad. A version of Homer, probably Sheep Homer, and Pingu. Ooh, wow, they, they got Dark Nation, that's it. Come on, Lantern, fight back some more. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you, Green Lantern. There, there you go. What? Okay, did he must have missed. Wow, Dark Nation. Wow, Dark Nation just friggin' mutilated them. Man, good job. Well, funny enough, I, th I thought Dark Nation was in singles in Neo's. I know he's in Neo's, but I forgot he was in sing singles. So, because I know, I, I know Rorschach is. I, I believe. I mean, if he can beat Aiko, I'll I'll give him immediate props because Aiko's not easy to beat. No, don't 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 let a rock slow you down. You have the power of I don't know what. <laughs> no, Dark Nation, why? No, no. Oh, come on, Rorschach. You know. Uh, of course, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, uh, hey, I almost said Aoko again. Aiko going for that tank toss right there as Warshot gets, tries to get him with the, the lighter. Oh, but man, freaking, freaking uppercuts are right in the crotch. Ooh. Oh, man. Gotta hurt. It go, goes a little grappling hook swing right there as Aiko freaking catches him off guard hugely with a uppercut. Very nice job. Go for some sweet kicks, but then, oh, freaking Warshot actually jumps over that gun. Oh, man, but freaking Aero kick counters the grappling hook and freaking ends up just like that. Holy crap. Oh god, broken Homer Simpson, alright. You stop powering up! Right? Like, I th if you're broken, you're supposed to use a- Ugh, never mind. Uh, really? Really, Homer? I am so sorry, Homer. Yeah, Aiko. Yeah, she's she's in her own, she's in her own elite core right now. But Pingu, if you can, oh god, if you can beat her, that would be a freaking testament to what your AI is originally capable of. I just don't think it's gonna happen, man. You got the moves, you just don't know how to execute them quite properly. Believe me, you have a crap ton of moves. Man, she just keeps on freaking using the using the jabs along with the uh, rock, uh the. Freaking rock wave, shock waves. Man, and a tank toss that poor Pingu. Ah, oh, I'm so sorry, Pingu. Ah, oh, that's that's the breaks. And hopefully you'll be better once Dark Luigi is all is all set with you. Still, Echo takes that turns battle pretty easily. Okay. All right. Let's see what else did I roll? Um. You know what? All right. Random battle number fifteen ninety one. Let's let's ramp this up big time to a four versus four battle. All right. Ooh, oh, not nice one. We, we have Fizzy. 
Wouldn't it be also have M Bison? Oh, 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 goodness. Ooh. Okay. D really, M Rugal? Oh my God! Depending on whose team he's on, that's freaking crazy. We got Kamachi, Karate Man, M Bison, and I what I believe to be is Lindus. We also got Sonic, Lightning, M Rugal, and Fizzy. I forgot that Fizzy has the freaking Zelda, the Zelda scream from Melee. I was like, Real. Really, r really, Lightning? You're, you're just gonna take those blows like a man, are you? And this is when M Bison becomes a freaking supreme chicken. Yeah, so it was, it was Kamachi, Karate Man, Lindus, and um, uh, and yeah, and M Bison. Yeah, and then yeah, and it was Sonic, Lightning, uh, and Rugal, and goddamn it, and Fizzy. There we go. There you go. There you go. And a hyper combo finish from Lindus finally takes him down. Oh, uh, come on, Emrugal. Come ah, uh, come on. You gotta do better than that, please. Please. Don't don't let just say don't don't let freaking M Bison tell tell you what to do. Oh man. Oh, there you go, that's it. Oh, that's it. Come on. Oh yeah, Emrugal's pissed. He's so pissed. Going, going, going for the freaking psychic special right there is freaking Lightning tries to catch him Bison on guard. Fizzy trying to attack him in the corner is um and Rugal helps her out. Oh man, and the, and the freaking blue aura explosion right there capturing Kamachi off guard and a freaking freaking flaming dash tackle to him, uh, to that freaking calf's karate man too. Good freaking god, nice comeback you four. Jeez, and here we are, man. Round three as I was kind of hoping it would be. This isn't even ABAB Sonic, dude. I think this is an improvement of either. Oh, was it? Was it um, Lugan Hunter Sonic? I think. Oh no, Emrugal's caught in freaking Lindus's hyper right there. As freaking Lightning Tribe tries to knock him out of it or something. Now, now when Bison's being a pansy in the air, of course he is. This is what he does for a freaking living, don't ya know? Oh man, yeah, there's, there's no hope now. I'm mean, Bison's just being a freaking tool. Damn it, and Bison, no! You ruined the last round, you freaking... Ah, you utter a-hole. Still, not a bad match, though. Yeah, and last last round was disappointing, though, because M. Bison was, well, being M. Bison. But still, not not too shabby for a 4v4 battle in this roster, at least. Alright, let's see. Random Boogum Battle number 1592. Let's, uh... Let's see. Let's go... Let's back it down to a 3v3 this time. Hey, Evil Donald! All right, all right. Black man will be will be pleased. I I, I hope so. Ooh, Psycho back here. All right. Ooh, we have Layla in this fight too. Hmm. <laughs> Yay! Oh God, it's Imperial, isn't it? Say like, what? Say like, why the heck is the special going up? Oh no, it's freaking cheap as Kung Fu Man, I think. It's like Evil Donald sees the girl. Oh, oh, gotta teleport. That's what it is. It's freaking, it's freaking, no, it's Boss Kung Fu Man, not cheap as Kung Fu Man. Sorry, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to the title cards. <gasps> Happy set. I'm loving it. Oh man, I was so hoping he would do that. Yeah, this version of Superman actually is pretty, pretty solid. Oh god, wait, is that DL's? Is that Dark Luigi's version? Because... I forgot what version of Evil Doll has the giant apple bomb. I thought DL's had that. Oh my god. Whoa! Whoa, Boss Kung, Kung, Kung Fu Man is actually getting injured. Oh man, they actually had a shot. Man, but the new Superman in his first appearance actually nabs a very easy win along with Evil Donald DL, I presume. You'll see it in the description anyway. And Boss Kung Fu Man. 
And wow, that, that looks atrociously bad on the screen pack. <laughs> the, um, uh, just like the way the, the, uh, uh, portrait is. It's freaking abysmal. It's almost as bad as one of Moku's versions of Twilight Sparkle, where, like, all you see is just, like, the giant portrait of her head and just, like, her eye. And, and almost worse, but still funny, because I like keeping it as, uh, center of is Donald McDonald SE. The original one, all you can see is just the leg. Which I have, which, if, for those who are familiar with my battles from way back when, I have, I constantly poke fun of that. I still do to this day. I've had the character, I think, since, like, 2012. So, at any rate, um, let's see. Right in Mugen Battle, number 1593. Let's back off once again to a, uh, doubles match. Let's go! Alright, we got, oh, wow, we got, um, my, this is a really good version of Mike Bison. Aw, Firebrand. Who are you with? You're with Gyarados! And Mike Bison is with Princess. That is... Oh god, that, that's a fierce doubles team. Ooh. I shudder to think. There you go, Gyarados. That's it. That's it. Oh. Oh, damn. Oh, there he goes with the Dragon Rage right there. It's like, you guys aren't doing anything! Okay. Of course, as soon as you know you're not doing it, now you're doing stuff. I think this might be the original princess too, so she, so, so freaking spammy princess is coming back, coming back for more. No, they were doing so good too, man. Come on. Oh, Gyarados, come on. I, I want to see you beat the, the freaking spammy princess. Some of you are probably wondering why I still even have that version of princess. Again, it's because she can just kick a major load of ass. And it, it's just, it's kind of funny just to see such, such a small freaking character just, like, just whoop. Just whoop someone's, um, someone's butt. Like that. Because it's one of those ones that's like, ha, 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 it's a freaking tiny person. What could she possibly do? Oh, shit. <laughs> kind of like that. But man, there you go. Round three, as I was hoping that it would happen. Good. Good job. Good job, Gyarados. Oh man, fire! Oh, look, oh, fireman's actually going for a hyper once. And Mike Bison missed his. Come on, really? <laughs> Seriously? Ooh, ooh, ho, ho, there you go. Nice dragon rage. Then Prince is trying to counter with their own stuff. But man, get! Oh, 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 oh! Oh man, freaking, freaking Firebrand getting the bulk of that attack. Gyarados managed to get out of it a little bit. Oh man, going going for that dragon rage. Come on, Firebrand, help out your partner. Oh my god, that's it! Gyarados and Firebrand, the team that I thought would lose, actually doesn't have a win off of the mighty, seemingly mighty at first. Princess and Mike Bison 2 1. Very, very nice job, Gyarados, honestly. I think Gyarados is a little on the OP side, so I think that might have something to do with it. But even so, Firebrand, while he does do stuff, I mean, again, his AI could use a little upgrade as well. But he's not a bad character, again. His AI, AI just a. Any bit on the weak side, but that's okay. Yeah, it just shows that he's a pretty balanced character, you know, as, you know, right out of the gate, so that's not too bad. Because the thing when it comes to a upgrading AI is that it can turn a character from being very balanced to very broken. <laughs> Depending, because you can, you can program anything. It, well, it depends on the character is made. If you're making your own character, it's a little easier to, because, you know, you know the limitations of what you're making. At any rate. Alright, now I'm going to roll, roll the dice again. Okay. Er, really? Okay. Um, hmm. Let me actually re-roll some of those. Okay, fine. Alright, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Alright, let's see. Ready to move about number 1594. What do we got? What do we got? We have a, um, let's see. Let's, uh, let's do another doubles match, actually. Yeah, the, the first time I rolled in that one, I got three sixes, and I'm like, eh. I don't know, like, do I want to show three, I want to show off three, you know, four more doubles matches in a row, I'm like, eh, so I'm like, nah, I'll, nah, I'll, 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 I'll re-roll those six sixes, and yeah, don't worry, it'll be, it'll be a little, a little more various. Here we are with the Roji, Yori, and Kung Fu Fune. freaking awesome team, by the way, against Wonder Man and, uh, Dark Luigi's, um, upgraded, um, Amy Rose. This could, actually, this could be a decent match, especially if Amy is really on her A game. Oh, oh, sandwich, freaking, oh, Wonder Rose sandwich, big time. Oh, but then Kung Fu Fume goes with a Kung Fu Punch right there offing Wonder Man, jeez. 
Oh wow, a Amy's like, get the hell off me, come with me, bastard. Then you roll over me, what the, the hell? No, no. It's like, fuck off me. Come on. Oh man, Orochi already blocking that like a pro. Oh man, Fune's downs up. What? Um, excuse me, Kung Fu Fune? What? What? Did you have like one unit of health left? That was. You. You should have died. No. No. I call. I call BS on that one. There you go. Some the Sonic assist. Very nice. Oh no! Wonder Man got countered out of his attack. Oh wait. Ooh, check that out. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. Oh no! Wow, that got him. I I gotta I gotta check Kung Fu Fume stats. Cause I, I think I, there was a time I might have raised his attack. I might actually turn it back down to stock. But man, ah oh, man, damn fine effort from. Uh, from the other team, but still, Roji Yori and Kung Fu Fiend do take that 2 2 nothing Or 2 0, rather. Alrighty then. Let's see what we got. Man, that was a decent one. Alright, alright. We're gonna move around number 1595. Let's see what else we got. Uh, let's see. Alright, let's go to a 4 versus 4 battle now. Nice. All right, we got Ren Itagawa. Yeah, no, that's another character from the new roster. And oh, oh, you, freaking Maverick, Mister Maverick, or Robot Masters. I used to go. Yeah, yeah, it is funny. Yeah, technically, technically, they are called Mavericks because they're from the Mega Man because they're from the X series. Oh no, nice one, ha 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 The other reason, the only reason I call them Robot Masters is because I'm a little more of a fan of the classic. Mega Man series, so just just out of force of habit, I would always call them Robot Masters. But yeah, technically, if they're from the X series, yeah, they're known as Mavericks. Again, I mean, again, that, that that's being very very pedantic and nerdy for any for for, for that. But yeah, yeah. And the other thing when it comes to Moon Knights, like, don't expect them to know like every single facet of the character that they're using. You know, that that's a very very helpful. That, that that's more of a helpful hint for people in the comment section, but. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. I, I very rarely ever get corrected, and, the, and, and if I do, I'll usually acknowledge it anyway. I yeah, know. I try not to be a dick in that regard. It's so. all of those things saying like, "Oh no, you're wrong," just because you say it differently than me. I know. And, and then usually at that point, I'll try, I'll try to recorrect myself. And if I don't, then it's just, just know that it's a force of habit. It's not me. It's not me being an ass against the person that corrected me. Can't echo off in weird territory. Any rate. For those, for, yeah, I mean, it, for those that know don't know it already, yeah, I, I ramble in these videos from time to time. Again, the last one I was commenting on the battle, now I'm just commenting about random stuff now. Gonna kick some ass. Oh, hi, hi, Blue, how you doing? Um, okay, Blue, we we get it. Thank you. Man, round three, man, I, I forgot because Hajime Saburi is a boss character, all a, a very beatable boss character, but a boss character nonetheless. Hajo Sabure, you must do it. Just do it. No, Hajo Sabure, why? No. Oh, no. Poor Hajo Sabure. But I'll say this, though. I didn't expect this to go into a round three against a freaking a, fr a freaking Maverick, of all things. That very rarely ever happens on this roster. So you know what? That actually wasn't too bad. All right. All right. So random Mugen battle number fifteen ninety six. Let's see what we got now. Let's. Uh... All right. Let's do a. Because if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, 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 let's do a uh, triples battle. Here we go. Yeah, I guess I already did the doubles for, uh, earlier. Alright. Alright, Nega Joe. Very, very good candidate. Alright, let's see what we got for this anchor. We have... Ooh, we have Fuma. Okay, from uh, Neo's roster. That's, the even kind of, that's a team I'm a little surprised maybe TK didn't give a shot. It was Hanzo and Fuma. Hanzo and Fuma is pretty good on Neo's roster. Anyway, what do we got? We got True K. Ooh, RDC, Homer, Simpson, and Fuma. And then you got Sadode's. 
um, uh, Strider Heehan, and then um, Nega Joe. Man, I actually, oh man, I like both these teams honestly. I kind, I actually want Heehan's team to win a little bit because Truke is pretty friggin' beastly, as you just saw right there. Yeah, I just don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, True K is too tough. I'm surprised he hasn't done the freaking Electro Beam yet. Then again, he might not get a chance to. Oh, wow, wow, nice finisher from Puma. Way to go. <laughs> I wish it was facing the other way. That would have been great. Just seeing, like, the shock look on Fuma's face with freaking Flanders' head. That would have been great. If that was positioned a little differently. That would have been beautiful. There you go. That's the Electro Beam I was looking for. That freaking... The, one of the most OP specials I've ever... Or hypers I've ever seen, but I freaking love it regardless. A lot of people hate that move, and for good reason. I, I, I just love it, because not only is it OP, it turns, it turns whatever hits into negative. How can you not love that? But, but, ah, but, but, ah, but I'm, I'm kind I'm joking, more or less, but still, I do like that move. Man, check that, just like that, round three against True K. Something I honestly kind of didn't see coming. Ooh! Oh, wow, wow, okay, he must have got countered by Fuma. Oh wow, yeah, that, that's that's Fuma. It's one of Fuma's good hypers. Oh, that's a true case down. They got it. Yeah, le hyper electro beam finish. Man, oh man. Freaking Sedote, Strider, he and Nega Joe making a monster comeback over RDC, Homer Simpson, True K, and Fuma. Freaking 2 1. God dang. That was a that was a pretty pretty dang good 3v3 battle overall. But at any rate. Yeah. At any rate, let's move on. Move on to the next one. Random moving battle number 15, uh, 97. Let's see. Uh, Alright, now let's go back to our 4v4 battle. After this, I'll roll one last time, and that'll be it for the 1500s. Good God. Ooh, yeah, UNBC Akuma. This is a this is a good one. Oh, that's a good one to have on any team. Oh, gee, oh, that's another good one. Julius Belmont. Ooh. Yeah, Sharmakai, Hotaru, Akuma. And then, um, I believe that that, I think, is Sideswipe. And then you got freaking Ignis Wildstar. I think that that is, um, uh... I think that that's Super Geese or something, I forgot. And then Julius Belmont. Yeah, this, this, this geese is insane, so never mind. This, this battle is gonna be kind of, kind of crap. Oh no! Oh, you know what this is? No, no, I think this is rare geese. My bad. Yeah, yeah, it's rare geese because it's, it's supposed to. Because the way the sprite is, it's supposed to resemble rare Akuma. Well, so much for that. Good. Whoa! What? That freaking damages his own side, really? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> you who, Mr. Transformer? Side swipe, buddy. Dude, bro, fine. Who the frick is left? Whoa, okay. Really, this song? Why? Oh my god, what have I done? You know what? Eh, you know the runner is F5. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, sorry this match got a little got a little nut. Yeah, I think I think freaking sideswipe glitched out. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, we, we, we all know who won that anyway. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that kind of a disappointing one, but oh well. Yeah, again, it wouldn't be an episode of Stargazer's Moving Battles without, without one of those kind of 4v4 battles, where everything all glitches up. Let's see, here, alright, let me roll one last time. Okay, alright, that said, uh, alright. Random Moving Battle number 1598. Let's go to a 3v3 battle, yay. All right, now we have this version of Akuma, which um, yeah, this is also a good version. Yeah, the other one had to get cut down his prime so early. <laughs> Evil Doll Ray. <gasps> oh my God, Shadow Ronald! I didn't even notice that at first. <laughs> I, I was paying more attention to Evil Doll Ray, but no, it's freaking Shadow Ronald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shadow Ronald, please do a happy set. I want to see you do one. Come on. Really, the Ronald girl? What the hell does he do that? Oh, oh damn it. Shadow Ronald? I was like, where the hell are you going? Whoa! Shadow Ronald, excuse me, what are you doing? Wh why, why are you doing a shuffle dance? No, that's that's not cool. I think Shadow Ronald glitched out because of the freaking topsy turvy. Although that, that, would, that was oh, wait a frick. Ah man, wow. Yeah, okay, freaking weird ass match. Hey, Shadow Ronald was in it. That's awesome. Okay, and lastly, random moving round number fifteen ninety nine. Let's end it off with a one versus one battle. Oh man, see who yet. Let the game scroll a little bit. Holy Strider Hero, man, one of the single champs on um on uh on Azure Blaze's roster. Good god. Let's see who else we got. No, not Batman. Ah. This isn't the one that just does not let the Okay, never mind. I think he does on doubles, but because it's in singles, I think he behaves more normally. Oh man, that, there we go. Man. No contest. It's gonna be the same way in round two, I know it. Ah, uh, that's why I was hoping to choose like M Rule or something like that. That would have been a much better challenge. It's so funny too, because I mean we saw M Rugal before. Why didn't why didn't the game go go into go into repeat mode? Like it usually does on when I'm like more than halfway through an episode. And it ends with a Holy Touch finish, and the 1500s officially end with a double flawless by means of Holy Strider here. Good freaking night. Man. And guys, that'll about clue the 1500s. Good god, it's been, it's been really good. Yeah, I'll be honest, I think not as, not, well, not as strong as the 1400s. It did have a lot of good ones in there. I mean, I can't really remember a whole lot of the top of my head, but it was still a lot of fun to do. And one thing I just realized, four days ago... Actually, was my three-year anniversary of doing Mooga Battles. Right, random Mooga Battle number one, which was, uh, what was it, Evil Donald and uh, Michael Jackson against, um, uh, what was it, um, oh, no, 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 it was Evil Donald and Blazing Cat against Michael Jackson and Kenji. Did that back on January 6th of 2013. So, yeah, it's been now officially three years I've been doing Mooga now. I mean, I've had the game, I think, since, like, very later, I think, like, later, mid-2011. And I really didn't get to start getting characters in bulk until 2012. But at any rate, though, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the 1500s and this movie episode. And next week, it'll be the 1600s. And at the end of this month, I might try to do either a Gauntlet or a Gygus Marathon, whatever one I'm feeling. I haven't done a Gygus Marathon in a while, so I might do both. I'm going to try to record that in the coming weeks. But until then, guys, stay tuned for what the 1600s has in store for us. And that said, I will see you all later.